Our, our family spent most of our years in uh, Edinburgh and Leith and so one day I walked up to Edinburgh Castle and I knew that uh, the Scottish National War Memorial for both world wars was situated there. It's a very fine piece of architecture and design. So when I went in and, and uh, looked up the huge books with the names of the, of the men and women who lost their lives in the two world wars. So I thought, who, who was there in middle quarter that I would know their name? So I, I remember I looked up Roderick McCoosh, who had been in the Lovett Scouts, and uh, he served in Mesopotamia in the First World War. He didn't come home, he died of disease, he died of dysentery, which was probably caused by bad food and bad water. And uh, his name was in, in this huge uh, journal of the people who lost their lives. And it's, it's a very striking uh, memorial, very well done. I'm Donald Norman MacDonald from Clachan Farm in North Uist, and I'm here today with my, my grandfather's bayonet, which he had in the First World War. Um, he served four years in the First World War, and he was one of five, uh, four brothers. Uh, one of his brothers, Norman, who was killed, he was age 20, and on the 17th of October, uh, he, was, he was sadly killed. So I am named after the, the two men there, Donald, my grandfather, Norman, who was killed. And um, my grandfather returned back to the Croft here in North Uist. The, the government provided land for them to come back to after being in, in the war. And I never actually met my grandfather. He died the year I was born. So um, it's, we owe them a huge uh, gratitude, really, for, for all the things they, they went through and from what I gather he never used to speak uh, about his experiences his experiences in the war and it must have been awful you know the hardships that they that they went through so we're all very grateful for what they did and and it's uh, it was a dreadful uh, part in history so. <laughs> 